Introducing our low swap, size, weight, and power, split Sterling Cryo Cooler and method of attenuation of cooler-induced vibration by using a tuned dynamic absorber. It consists of a linear single-piston compressor unit, 1, and an expander unit, 2, interconnected by a transfer line, 3, and weighs only 115 grams. This screen provides various perspectives, dimensions, and an image showcasing the cryo cooler with its cold finger exposed. Cryo cooler, consisting of the single piston compressor unit, expander, and transfer line, is now mounted and prepared for testing. The cold finger of the expander unit is enclosed within a high vacuum dewer. The decision to use a single piston compressor is driven by its cost effectiveness and favorable size, weight, and power indices. It's worth noting that the single piston compressor is the primary source of cooler induced vibration and we are actively taking steps to address this issue. To address the vibration export by the compressor unit, a tuned dynamic absorber can be employed. This absorber features a proof ring shaped mass supported on both sides by flexural bearings in the form of metal diaphragms with spiral slots. It's essential to match the resonant frequency of the translational mode of the tuned dynamic absorber with the optimum driving frequency, or vice versa. The central holder of the tuned dynamic absorber is threaded and can be securely attached to the fill purge valve stud of the compressor. Just like this. This video captures the screen of our dedicated test bench, showcasing the cryo cooler operating in temperature control mode at 150K. The power consumption is 1.7 watts, with a driving frequency of approximately 81 Hz. While the dynamic absorber is disabled using a screwdriver, the platform exhibits significant motion, measuring 21 micrometers, which may exceed the depth of focus, resulting in a smeared infrared image. Upon releasing the absorber, after a brief transient phase, the platform's motion is impressively attenuated by a factor of 50, reducing it to a mere 0.4 micrometers. Not bad at all.